boy got that heat. Right. 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 She sits upon the waters on a scarlet color piece. The wine of fornication, yeah, for everyone to drink. Harlot of abomination, blood of mortars on the street. Golden cup has run its over, fell her double to defeat. Though they be of one mind, it's destruction to the kings. Making war with the lamb, but the lion is the sheep. When the chariots are overhead, it's running in hysteria. The king of kings and lord of lords is coming to America. Prepare slaughter for those that not reign. In one hour, they had power in another Sodom reign. Through the passing of the prophecies, the nations know the name. Yeah, I will buy a simia, I will shout, will be proclaimed. Right. Okay, cool, cool. You, you, you've you heard this uh, information? Huh? You've heard this information before? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where did you hear it from? Um, H2, well, well, I'm African. Uh-huh. And then, so we kind of know because it fits our oral tradition. Oh, okay, okay. And then also h oh. Okay. Yeah. So, um, are you... Are you yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, okay. What about uh, your son? Does he, does he know about this? Is this your son? Well, I teach him. Oh, you teach him? Okay, okay, okay. How, how are you, man? 17, you you young brother. We we got a young brother right there, a young brother like myself, right? We are here teaching our people. Please teach we, them. Yeah, what we truly go back to, right? You should know the truth and the truth. So I set you free, exactly, right? That truth is the law. We gotta follow the law, set your commandments of God, knowing that we are Israelites though. Yes. Right? Yes. Right? So I know it. you know it? Okay, okay, okay. All praise to the most high, right? Yeah. So we gotta teach him, you know, we gotta we gotta come back to the laws, we gotta we gotta get our we gotta get our tassels, right? Because that's that's a part of our heritage. Can I show you that real quick? Yeah. Give me number 15 and 38, right? And I think that, you know, a lot of people like try to say like, oh, that looks weird. But I think they look pretty cool. Like you get in, you get to match your ad, outfit and things like that, right? You got it? You got it? You got it. You got it. You got it. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's book of Numbers chapter 15 and verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments, right? You see his show right there? That's the fringes with the border, uh, with the border of blue, right? Read it. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Right. So you gotta you gotta wear those, right? It says for the generation. So forever we gotta we gotta wear these fringes and we gotta wear our tassels, right? Yeah. Because that's a law that God told us to do, right? Yes. Right now, young brother, can I ask you a question real quick? How do you feel about what's happened to our people in this country? Huh? Yeah. yeah. That's right, that's right. Now, when you say, is it just, when you say it's just our people, do you mean just black people? In this country. Like, in America, specifically to people that look like us, it's a little different. I feel like systematically, too. Yeah. It happens that it doesn't happen to any other race. Right, right. So give, it's like, give me Isaiah. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's right, that's right. That's perfect. Give me Isaiah 42 and 22, right? Now, what you gotta realize is, it's not only people that look like us, but you got this brother, his people, so-called Mexicans, right? You got the so-called Native Americans. They went through the same things we go through, right? Yeah. Now watch, I want to show this precept, right? Because you said what you said was facts, right? The systematic, right? The systematic things that we go through as well as the um, other oppressions that we go through, right? Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Right, our people are robbed and spoiled. It's clear as day to see that, right? Our people are robbed and spoiled for everything that we do. Even though we're at the bottom, right? People still want to take everything we do. Yes. They still want to act just like us, yes. right? When the Native Americans were over here, they can't even rob their land, yes. right? And then push them off the reservations, right? Yes. Go ahead. They are all of them snared in holes. Right. And they are hid in prison houses. And they are hid in prison houses, right? Do you know that so-called blacks and Hispanics make up 80% of the prison system? Yeah. 80%. Isn't that sad? That's, that's crazy, right? So you can see that the oppression for our people is clear as day, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we got to do is we got to come back to God so we can get out of this captivity. Yeah. And we got to start following the law, statutes, commandments so we can prosper, right? People are starting to wake up. Yeah, a lot of people are, yeah. right? It's, yeah. it's about that time, right? Amen. Amen. Okay. Now let me ask you a question. Do you guys uh, celebrate Thanksgiving? Not, not, in, not in the traditional way. What do you mean? Like, like what it means and all of this. Because... <laughs> 
He doesn't believe in that. When we think about the Native Americans, you can't sit down and eat in good conscience. Right, right. Yeah, it's not right. And I don't really do Christmas, but we're in Marietta. It's boring until we came out here today. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, so, when you said not the traditional way, do you celebrate in any type of way? No, no. We just go down to uh, fun, um, San Diego for the homeless walk to oh, okay. charity and that's all. Okay, okay. Like, that's about all. That's, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean... It's still acknowledging it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's yeah, that's that's because it's pagan. It's actually yeah. Mason. Even um, here, like the Christmas, that's that's a uh, um, ancient um, Greek uh, worship. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. So I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. You have a lot of wisdom. I see Easter. that. Yeah, yeah. All these, all these holidays are being yeah, all pagan, all pagan, all pagan, pagan right? Mason. Right. So when we go back to Thanksgiving, you got the cornucopia, right? The two guys, the two green goddesses, right? Yep, yep. And then you got so Christmas, Nimrod, and things like that, right? So you guys have that wisdom. That we can't celebrate those things. That's all praise to the Most High, right? Yes, yes. So, um, what I wanted to get was, it's all it's all to the Most High, right? Now, see, y'all got that wisdom too. I know He can be that brother as well that has His wisdom to teach His people, right? Yes. Now, let me ask him another, another question, right? I don't mean to put you on the spot, but you know, you know what I'm saying? You you gotta be a king, gotta be a leader, so you gotta have these weapons equipped. How do you, what do you think should happen to the people that did what they did to us? Give me a person making my way just, just just leave it to God? I mean, if everyone that was up on the project, they, 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 they said they don't celebrate any holidays. No, ask them, ask them what do they celebrate. Can you say that again? Oh, my bad. Like, let God do whatever he wants to to the people that did us wrong. Right, okay, okay. Now, before we get into that, I want to ask y'all, what do y'all celebrate? Mm -hmm. What do y'all celebrate? I acknowledge the Sabbath. The Sabbath? Okay. The Sabbath. Okay. I have some friends birthday, who do the feast days, but I haven't started to do the feast days just because I can't remember all the dates. All right. All you got to do is go into Leviticus and you find them all. Yeah, that's right? what they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you guys celebrate birthdays? Birthdays? Nah, okay. Not all really. praises. All praises. Yeah, all praises. Not really. Yeah, because that, that's that goes back to Satanism. Uh -huh. Say, uh, celebrating birthdays is one of the highest ceremonies in Satanism. Really? Right? So, they, yeah. Yeah. I, really? Yeah. We don't, just because it's not, you know, it's not. It's not for us, but that's really what it's for. Yeah, doing. yeah. You gotta look it up. You gotta look into it. Because you're celebrating yourself. When you're celebrating yourself, right? Uh -huh. And that's come on, like we, we yeah, we're really nothing. Yeah. We gotta give all praise to the most high. We can't be celebrating ourselves, right? Because uh -huh. without him we ain't even here. Yeah. Right? So the Satanism, um, celebrate your birthday is hot, really high ceremony of Satanism. Oh, very wow. high, yeah, very high. Right? Uh -huh. So you said um let God do what he wants to do with these other people, right? Do you have do you have any idea what God said to do with these other people? That should happen to the other people? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick your brain real quick. Let's get into uh Revelation 13. The Revelation. <laughs> and I want uh Galatians 6 and 7. Give me Galatians 6 and 7 first. <laughs> You good, you good, you good. Just to catch y'all up in the back, what we're doing is we're going into what we think should happen or the repercussions of what happened to the so-called blacks and space in the Americas, right? We're going into what we think should happen to the people that did what they did to our people. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. There we go. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So whatever a man soweth, he shall also reap. Now where these people sow is us. 
death, destruction, rape, rob, and murder, right? That's what they that's what they sowed. So they should also reap the same same things, right? They will. They will, exactly, exactly. Right, let's get into it. This book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. So these people that put us in captivity and still have us there to this day, they shall go into captivity for what they did to our people. What do you feel about that, King? What do you feel about that? That's cool, right? That's cool. That's cool, right? Now, that's not the only thing. Now, who are they going to captivity under? Us, right? Let's go. Let's go into it. Isaiah 14? Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Wow. Prepare slaughter. Stop you. Hold on. Go ahead. No, no, no. Give me 14 and 1. Okay. It's Revelation 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right. Like I said, they led into captivity, so they should go into captivity. They kill with the sword, so they should be killed with the sword, right? Yeah. It's not it's not just so-called white people, right? Because that's what a lot of people like to say, it's just white people. No. Asians, you got Asians, you got Arabs, you got East Indians, all these people make money off us and then take them out to the communities and then when we go into their stores the which they prosper off us yeah. once we go to their stores and spend all of our money because they know we spend the most money in the world we, right yeah we're blessed exactly we spend all them we spend the most money in the world uh -huh. so they go into our communities set up shop and then once they take the money from us they go back to their communities yeah. don't help none of us it's right system. they just prosper off yeah, it's a system right they prosper off us being at the bottom being in slavery being in captivity being in sub, uh, subjection unto them and then they go to their communities and they prosper right if you um go to like asian cities right cities that are predominantly ran by asians yeah. they're prospering yeah. they're doing pretty good right but you go to our people in the slums yeah. right but this nation was built off our blood sweat and tears off our back Yes. Right? So how is it these Asians, right, that they were just going to war with not too long ago, how are they more prosperous, prosperous than us? It's all, part of the plan. it's all part of the plan, right? It's all part of them having, it's all part of the enemies making a crafty counsel against us. Give me that. You got it? This book of Psalms. This book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Right, these people have, these nations have taken crafty counsel against us. Yeah, right. They, they taken crafty counsel against us, right, and now they prosper, prosper, prosper off us, they keep us at the bottom, right? Then, when we go into those stores, they treat us like we're not supposed to be there, like it's not our community, right? Like we're wrong for walking around the store, dressing how we dress. How are you going to be in our community looking at us different for the way we act, right? For the way we be we act a certain way in our community, in our natural habitation, right? It doesn't give you the right to act like that's wrong or act like we're less than, right? But that's what they do. It's not just white people. Yeah. It's these other nations as well, mm -hmm. right? Give me um, first uh, first Maccabees two and ten. Right. So what they did unto us, we should. They that should happen to them, right? It's only fair. It's only justice, right? We deserve to be at the top. We're God's chosen people. We don't actually. We don't deserve it, but that's where we're supposed to be, right? Because. Yeah. Uh -huh. The reason why we're not at the top is because we didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Yes. Right? So we need to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments so we can be at the top again. And these other nations will be stopping over us, having their knee on our necks. Yes. Right? For 8,000 years, basically. Yes. Yes. I'm not, I'm exaggerating. Not exactly 8,000 years, but you get what I'm saying, right? You got it? There's the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 2 and verse 10. What nation hath not had a part in her kingdom? What nation have not had a part in her kingdom? Meaning, what nation has not had us in captivity, right? Every nation has had us in captivity, yeah. right? If you go through history, every nation has come up against us, taken, over, taken us over, yeah. and put us into slavery, right? Mm -hmm. Good. And gotten of her spoils. And gotten of her spoils. They took in all our goods, right? Yeah. Taking everything that we had. Our heritage, they stripped from us. Mm -hmm. Our wisdom, they stripped from us. Uh -huh. our, our claim to fame, they stripped from us. Now, you got people in um, Israel right now claiming to be the real Jews. But they're not. It's us. Yeah. They stripped everything from us, right? The blasphemy of them that say they are Jews but are not. They are the synagogue of Satan, right? So now go back to Isaiah 14. 
Isaiah. Chapter 14 and verse 1. Isaiah 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. That's Israel, right? That's our people. And I will yet choose Israel right. and set them in their own land. And set them in their own land, right? Yes. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Right. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right. So these strangers shall be joined with us and cleave unto us. Uh -huh. Right. As the children of God. As the holy people. As the people that are rightfully on top. Right. Yes. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Right. And the house of Israel shall possess them. The house of Israel shall possess them. Right. That's not saying we're going to be all all friendly and neighbors to them. No, we're going to possess them, right? They're going to be ours. Right. In the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. For servants and for handmaids, right? We're going to possess the other nations for servants and for handmaids as they did to us, right? And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Whatsoever man sowed, he shall also reap. We shall take the captives, whose captives we were, right? Yeah. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And we're going to rule over our oppressors, right? Yeah. How do you feel about that, young king? How do you feel about ruling over your oppressor? That's cool. Is that school? Yeah. Uh, no, you don't seem too excited about that. Because he's hungry. Uh, I, it's whatever. I'm just here, bro. What do you mean you're just here? Yeah, I mean, I saw someone like homeless or something. Man. That's cool. Like, as long as you're not. But I get, you can, I get that. I get, the, I get what you're saying, but... What this, what this is showing you is that you're more than just here. You're more than just, it's, it's, it's cool. You're a king. You're a god, right? These things that have happened to your people mean something, right? But you're a saint. You're a saint. You're a holy person, separate from everybody else. It's not just cool, right? This is what you truly go back to, right? This is something powerful because knowledge is power, right? Right? Wisdom is better than rubies and gold. So having this wisdom understanding where you go back to, having this understanding that at a, at a young age as well is very powerful because growing up, you won't be going through the same trials and tribulations as a grown man not knowing who you are, right? You'll be able to teach your kids who they are. You'll be able to teach your kids, hey, don't trust them other little kids and their families because those people have been having you in subjection for hundreds of years, right? You're going to be rules over them. You are greater than them, right? That's very powerful to have because you're young. Like I said, I was 15 when I learned about this stuff, right? I, it took me a long time to finally understand, like, this is something serious. It's not just something that's just cool to know because what, what it means is once it's just not cool and then you take heed and you follow, you follow laws at your commandments and you get back and you... Become passionate for God. They can't, they can't get right, you can't fall for the tricks, right? You can't fall for the um, devices, right? Once you learn these things and you become passionate about God, that's when we get out of here. Yeah. The, Right, yes, exactly. Yes. You want Revelation yes. 13 and, and 10? Because it says here's the patient of the saints. No, no. Okay. You want to get 7 and 7 again? Okay. I want to tell you something. If you go on YouTube and you search around, there's a lot of evangelical churches now that are warning their congregation about the um, Hebrew Israelites saying they're coming for them, that yeah. they're trying to take over. So whatever you all are doing, keep doing it. Because they're getting scared now and they're actually saying like infiltration, trying yeah. to infiltrate the movement and all it's not a movement it's it's, it's, it's prophecy. they're calling they're calling us a cult right yes. but paul said that's what they said to him in his time right yes. so we yes. must be must be doing but something right scared, and that's what yeah they exactly do. That's, the truth scares no one. exactly yes. right. exactly yes. the most high willing we we keep we keep going right but y'all be safe though remember king this is important right yes. Go ahead. it's the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter right fear god and keep his command that's the conclusion of everything we just said fear god and keep his commandments right so we can get out of this captivity we can get back into our power right for this is the whole duty of man for this is the whole duty of man you so-called black Spanish and americans you need to fear god and keep his commandments because this is your duty and your job as a chosen people as the israelites right and not you